So we have two samples here. Uh, they look very different, and that's because they're taken from different sites. This one I found in the Malcolm Knapp Research Forest under a stand of coniferous trees, hemlock and Douglas fir. This one was taken here at the UBC farm under a stand of alder trees, which are deciduous. Um, can you ex start, start to explain some of the horizons we're seeing? Certainly. So, so here from this site, we have um, an L and an F and an H. And it's laying right over top of, on that site, which I did see, um, right over top of mineral soil. Uh, and there was an abrupt boundary between these organic horizons and the mineral soil beneath. Just an abrupt boundary. You could, in fact, if this mineral soil was here, we could take this and we could almost just peel it back like that and there'd be mineral soil right underneath. Um, and, and that's very different than this other sample that we're going to get to over here. But before I go on to that, um, the, another major feature here is that we have this central horizon yeah. that's called an FM. So that's more of a, um, it's a certain kind of an F horizon in the LFH sequence. And um, it's dominated by fungal mycelia. Um, and so uh, it's fungus dominated and that's holding it together in a very compact kind of matted way. Um, abruptly over top of mineral soil. So to contrast that with this sample, which you can see is really different, uh, the, this was taken under a forest as well, or in a forest area, and looks so different because it had, well, we'll get into the because later. Right now we'll just look at what, what we see. Um, on top we've got some litter. Here we've got conifer needles as litter. Here we have deciduous litter, and you mentioned it's an alder stand, right? Mm -hmm. So alder litter we're going to have, and probably some other deciduous trees as well. And beneath that, there's this black stuff. It's just so black uh, that um, when I pick it up and mush it around, it does have some grittiness to it. So this is an indication of mineral material. So what do you think that this might be then, if it's gritty, but it has black material in it? What do you I think, think this resin. is the AH. Right, right. So, so we have this really deep AH. And um, I know from looking at uh, some information that was collected that there was about, there were about 16 centimeters of AH here. So deep AH. This sample had no AH whatsoever. It was just LFH and uh, then mineral soil. Over here we have L and a deep AH. Uh, so, if this is an AH, that means that organic material is being mixed in. Who, who's doing that? How's that happening? Well, that's, uh, er earlier on we, we did see that there are, um, and in the field you can see there are earthworms that are uh, active here. There are other organisms as well, but largely in this area, um, earthworm activity uh, and other macrofauna are uh, taking the litter essentially eating that litter and it's moving through their body and they're, de they're leaving behind casts. The earthworms are leaving behind earthworm casts. Actually, here's one little organism here, another one of the macrofauna. And uh, these organisms are very active in this soil. So they are the ones that are, are involved in mixing, essentially, that organic matter into the mineral soil. 